Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. Today we have a different sort of video. Still food related. Still, you know, I don't know. But yeah. it is very on brand for us, I would say. Yeah, but not a trying video. No, it is not a trying video, but we are game player question ask and answer type people. Yeah. And recently on Instagram, we posted a little meme about how adventurous of an eater are you. Mm -hmm. Give yourself a point. Um, so, for each of the things on the list. So, we are going to do that right now with you. And we would love if you would play along and just kind of, you know, keep track and then let us know in the comments uh, where we stack up against you guys. So, yeah, and uh, I was a horribly picky eater as a child and I'm still kind of picky but not as much. I here's what I would say. I was a picky eater. Yes, I was a picky eater as a kid. Um not only in uh what I ate which has subsided for me a little bit, but how I eat things <laughs> will never <laughs> subside. I eat things in a very particular way. Oh, she does. Part of it is because of you know, like I've choked before and had to have the Heimlich done on me or, you know what I mean? Some of it's just weird, like I've always done it that way kind of thing. Um, so, but this is all about, what I was going to say is I would be open to trying new foods and more foods and sauces and whatever, as opposed to like when I was a kid, I would never try something new. Right. But the things on the list are a lot of animals and, you know... Uh, stuff that I, I don't know that I would be comfortable with. Some organs and, you know, that kind of thing. So let's see where we fall. You get a point for everything that you have tried. Yes. So how we're going to play this is, the game is uh, give yourself a point for everything you've tried, but we're also going to say, would we try? Like, some things you may just have not had the opportunity to try, right. but would you? Right. So... I'm going to be the official scorekeeper. Oh boy. So, how adventurous are you? Wait, sorry. If you're new here, hello and welcome. One it, point for every This might food be their first video of ours they've ever seen. <laughs> so we should say hello. Normally we're sitting here trying food. We like to do other things too. First on um, no. And we definitely like to play games. So if you're into food, if you're into travel, you're gonna see us doing some of that. We love to play games. This kind and that kind. Yeah. Uh, we love to cook and we have some more cooking coming up. So if you're into any of that, please stop what you're doing right now. And hit that subscribe button. That's right. And don't forget to hit the little bell. Ding. So you can be notified when our new videos go up. It's every day. We just never know what time. We never know how many. Sometimes you get two or three. So anyway, now on with the show. Well, do it and do it now. We'll wait. Okay. Um, all right, so are you ready? I mean, I think so. One point for every food you've tried. Okay. Anchovies. Yes. Yes. Duck. No. I don't know. I, How emphatic can I say that? No. I feel like I might have had it some duck dish, but I can't remember any. I'm going to say I haven't had it. Okay. Uh, I would not eat duck. Laura had a duck as a pet. I had two ducklings as a as a child. I yeah. like a teenager. Uh, I had two baby ducks that were imprinted, and they would quack when they heard my you know heard my voice and stuff. So it's a personal connection. Yeah, yeah. I can't eat duck. But you would, you think, if I weren't um, present? <laughs> yeah, I'd eat it. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm not opposed. I just personally, you know, it's like eating, yeah, you know, a, a, pet, a pet animal to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No shame on anybody else if, you know. Right. Uh, what about liver? <sighs> I, yes, I have. I have had it as well. I remember I was in the Marine Corps and I was hungry and I'm like, what is for dinner? Liver? Oh, 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 but it was the only thing you had. You know what? You're hungry, you're going to eat it. It wasn't that bad. I think the last time, we did um, another video similar to this, and I think we told both of these stories in that video. Oh, well, but if you're new, here's a new story. No, I'm going to tell a story now, oh, too. Oh, go ahead. That's what I'm getting at. I think you told that story, and I think I told the story that I was going to tell, too. 
liver looks good, right? It looks like it's going to be like, I don't know, like anything else, but the texture and everything is different than what I was used to. And I sat on this side of the table with my little dog <laughs> and my sister sat on the opposite side of the table with her little cat. I know what story and you're going to say. My parents both got up and went in the other room to watch Wheel of Fortune while we finished well, you know, we moved food around on our plate. <laughs> and my sister who's 10 years older than me, uh so, you know, she was older and wiser or so I thought. Was like, "Hey, and she throws her liver to her cat and her cat gobbles it all up and and she goes scampering away and I'm like I'm gonna do that too threw the food down the dog like sniffs it just in time for my mom to walk back in and <laughs> seize this and she made me pick it up and put it back on my plate and told me to eat it which I had the biggest meltdown ever because now it's liver that I already didn't want to eat. That was and it's on the covered floor. In, yeah, that had been in the floor uh, or on the floor. So behind me was this big buffet. And so she, and I, of course, uh, probably whined for an hour about this. Then I thought, I'm going to put it in my napkin. And I checked it behind the buffet. <laughs> and years later, when they moved, literally like... 20 something years later there's a big mold spot <laughs> behind the buffet and I heard I was in the basement you know I'm out of the house have kids of my own and whatever I hear my mom say Laura Kay and <laughs> yeah sent shivers down my spine I well, knew what she had found shiver me timbers anyway um so yes, we've had it. I'm not in a hurry to have it again. I, I wouldn't have it again unless I didn't have a choice. It's not my thing. I wouldn't choose it, but if the circumstances were right again, I would probably eat it. Um, there are people that absolutely love it. It was oh, one yeah. of my mom's favorite dishes. She would go out to a restaurant like on a certain night when they would have it. Yeah. And, you know, that's a thing. Mm-hmm. That is a thing. What about sauerkraut? Oh my gosh. That does not seem like a horrible thing or you know something that you're like oh i'm adventurous i'm eating sauerkraut i love so sauerkraut. sauerkraut we both love sauerkraut we put it on everything yeah yeah uh oysters i have had them i have had them as well what about sea urchin i have had it like is in a like on a sushi or mm -hmm. something yeah i think i have and mine was accidentally I didn't know that's what I was eating. Yeah. And I don't remember if I, we had a um, sushi buffet and it all looked pretty and I just tried different things. It was one of the first times I had had sushi. Um, I, I don't think I loved it compared to some of the other ones, but it could have been the combination of things that was yeah. on it, you know? I can't say for sure I've had it, so I'm going to say no, I haven't had it. Is that a four? That's four, yeah. Okay, the pen's running out. Okay. You gotta mark yourself down, though. There you go. Uh, haggis. <laughs> I will not insult anybody, but I don't think that's something... I, I haven't had it. I haven't had it. I either. don't think I want to have it. Um, John would probably try it. Yeah, I'd probably try it, but uh, I'm not really... Like, like the liver, it's the organ meat. I'm not... Yeah. It's the texture fan. thing with that for me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you've never had it. I've never had it. Right. Uh, truffles. Well, I've had like truffle oil and grated truffle like on top of something. I think so that you that have counts. too, right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, I know we've had truffle fries together, and I think I've had pasta that you had some of, or you had pasta and I had some of. Um, I like it okay. It is easy to use too much in a hurry because I oh, know yeah. we've had something that I was like, mm, too much truffle. So I would eat it again, but it's not something I love that I would seek out, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, tripe. No. I have had it. Okay. In like a, like a pho bowl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Stick tartare. I have had it. I don't think I've had it. I had it and I liked it a lot. Mm. Ah, crickets. <laughs> Jiminy uh, crickets. Hold on, let's go remedy this right now. <laughs> so you can both say we've had it. No, um, no, 
No, I have not either. I've never had it. Would I? We watch uh, this YouTuber, this cute young couple that travels the world, and ironically, we just watched a video last night where they tried uh, crickets for the tried first crickets. time. The problem for me, I think, I think I could eat it. Uh, I would struggle. I would struggle, but I think I could for the experience of it. But the texture, I think, would, you know, I don't know. What, what I... Yeah, the tech, like the legs on it, I think, would cause a problem. There's like little wing type things. But, uh, so like on a cricket, the legs for sure would be a problem. But for me, it would be the burst to like bite into it and feel it go, uh-uh, no, no. Well, and it's a thing, like, I just saw Good Mythical Morning just this week or last week did a video of trying every flavor of crickets. Like, if it was barbecue or something like that, I could probably get through it easier. I don't know. Yeah. Would I try it? I mean, it'd have to be a really strange set of circumstances, but compared to an organ meat kind of thing, I would try it. Uh, what about chicken gizzards? I have... Accidentally, again. <laughs> People love chicken gizzards. My dad would always go to KFC when they would have like liver and gizzards. And I told you, him and my grandma used to fight over the gizzard. Mm. Um, have mm -hmm. you had one? No. Um, I have not. My dad just told me it was a chicken nugget and I did not like the texture. It was not, it was not a chicken nugget. I mean, it was a chicken and a nugget, but it is not what I thought it was going to be. Right. Um, I've never had it, so. Okay. Uh, chitlins. Nope. Chitlins. I've never had it either. I know it has to do with like some sort of intestine. I don't. And some people love it. It's a southern yeah, thing southern, a lot, right? Yeah. I mean, some people really love it. I've never had it. Um, I feel like there's a smell to it when you're cooking I'm it. Sure. When oh, you're yeah. cooking it, if if I remember like from seeing it on cooking shows and stuff, I I don't know that I would ever order it, but if somebody had it and, you know, at somebody's house and they wanted me to try it, I might, but I could never like order it. I don't know. I don't know. I'd be hard pressed. I, I don't know. Again, that's like, you know, along with the organ type thing, you know, I, I mean, but it, I, I would probably try it. I would probably try it because, you know, like in natural casing sausages and stuff like that, you're kind of eating the same right, thing, right. you know? I mean, like I said, it'd have to be a, a very special set of circumstances. If somebody made that and it was a buffet, you know, like somebody had a, a dinner and it was part of it where I could try just a little tiny bit, right. I would try it. Um, I can get through a bite of almost anything, but uh, to order it, no. Yeah, I definitely don't think I'd want to try a buffet chitlins. <laughs> I meant like at somebody's house. No, I know what you it. mean. I was just saying, thinking like, yeah. oh, if it's on a buffet, hell's to know. Okay. Oxtail. Nope. I have not tried it, but I would. I have not, and I would. Oh yeah. I, I wouldn't or again, it's not a dish I would ever order, but if you had it, I'd take a bite of it. Yeah. I, I would order it. I would. Yeah. I'd try it for sure. What did you have when we went to Colorado? Hmm. Which time? It was like buffalo. Was it buffalo? I had a, I had a bison burger, I think, or something like that. And then there were uh, wild uh, boar or that's what I'm thinking wild of. boar like sausage I yeah think. that's what I'm thinking of okay um raw fish yes yes and what I ate it again yes yes um crabs yes yes I don't love crab I don't um I was a vegetarian I could easily be a vegetarian again I do not prefer to eat things on the bone or that you have to like take out of their skeleton to eat. Like I, that's, that's rough for me. So that I like, yeah, that doesn't bother me. I like crab like in a pasta or something, but to sit and eat crab, 
Um, I'll eat a lobster tail, but I won't eat a whole lobster. I mean, I have. I, it's just not my preference. It's yeah. not. I don't want to be reminded because, you know. Right. I struggle. Um, sardines. I have. I have not. You've never had a sardine? Nope. Get out of here! We're going to the store. <laughs> We're going to have to go. We're going to make a video. John tries sardines for the first <laughs> John time. John tries stuff that makes him go. <laughs> uh, one of the kids, one of the oldest ones, loves sardines. He gets sardines in his stocking every year. Any opportunity we have to give him sardines, we do. He loves them. Mm-hmm. Uh, next up is octopus. Yes. Yes. I don't love it. I don't love the tech. Uh, it, no. it, it can be, I've had it where it was okay, and I've had it where I really didn't like it. I've never had it where I loved it. Yeah. Um, the texture. No. It's, the texture is pretty bad. Chewy, chewy, mm -hmm. right? Rubbery. Mm -hmm. Um, pig's ears. No. No, I haven't either. It's not we, I mean, how do I want to say this? I, I, I mean, I don't understand why I'm trying to be as respectful to every culture, every whatever as I can. But why pig's ears as opposed to like you don't see? Maybe you do. Maybe you do somewhere in the world like body, like cow ears or whatever. Why is it pig ears? I don't know. What what makes them? But they're like a delicacy and like chicken feet. You know, you yeah, see that right. kind of stuff too. I wonder. Yeah, I don't know. I would never think to eat the ear of something, but. No, I haven't. No, I don't plan on eating it. Nope. Okay. I haven't either. Snails. I told you this. I think I did accidentally, not knowing what it was. But um, I haven't... Uh, I think it was in something. I think it was um, in a pasta at a chef's tasting event I was at. Mm -hmm. And I think it was in a pasta, but have I ever had it like escargot like as it right. you know like a lot of people eat it no i haven't i'm not gonna give myself a point because i'm not positive i have not and would i eat it no no offense uh, uh, like i don't need to say no offense yeah. after all of these is everybody has different you know what they're used to like, yeah at but. this point we know that snails are a delicacy in certain cultures and not mine i'm not down <laughs> with i don't like I don't know what's on the rest of the list, but I'm not down with roe either. That's not my thing. You know, caviar is, is, I mean, beloved by so oh, many, yeah. and that's not my thing either. Yeah. Um, next up is squirrel. Have you ever had a squirrel? No, but there are sometimes on a Saturday morning at about 5 a.m. where I've thought about it. <laughs> I have had squirrel. <laughs> when I've been woken up at that time. No, I haven't. No, I wouldn't. I, how could you? How could I? Yeah. Why, with a fork and a knife, of course. How could you? My pen is dying. How about... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. How about... Tofu. Yes. Yes, of course. There, now I can see my lines. Yes, I've had it. Yes, I like it. Um, I don't like it when it's a... I like it in little bits. Hmm. I like a stir fry, you know, like in a stir fry or something. Me too, yeah. but I don't like... I like it better when the tofu pieces are small. So, uh, it's the same way with meat for me. I like it when the meat pieces are small too. Yeah. Spam. Of course. And we both like it. Yeah, absolutely. It's delicious. Uh, what about some durian? <laughs> if you watched that video, you should... Uh, uh, if you haven't watched that video, you should check it out. I'll probably pop it in here. It's a whole <laughs> thing of us trying different Asian snacks. I don't know if we can give ourselves a point. We have tried durian cookies. Yeah, but that's made with durian, and it definitely stunk. And we definitely didn't like it, so I, I, I think we can give us ourselves. All right, a point. I will give us a point. Um, I would still try the fruit. Yeah, I still would because I feel like that's a different experience. I mean, it's probably the same experience, but a hundred times worse. 
but um let me tell you those were wafer cookies <laughs> and they as soon as we cracked that package it reeked well and practically what had to happen was john as soon as we got done with that video john had to put them in a bag take it out to the curb i mean take it out to the trash and take the trash out to the curb <laughs> i think we can still smell it you could smell it through like a plastic bag the it's... the fact that it was a cookie did not help at all no no okay quail eggs no no not that i'm aware of i have not either but i would eat them in that uh, the those youtubers that we watched they had i don't know where they so were they in malaysia and they had uh, quail so. eggs that they had put in um they were like baked quail eggs kind of and then they were stuck on a kebab and yeah. like um sauteed or fried or i don't know something but um they looked good yeah how about rattlesnake i've never tried it i'd try it it's probably not gonna it wouldn't be my favorite but i'd try it I, I mean, it, like a lot of it has like the bones and stuff in it. And remember how we saw them try it? Oh yeah. I, mean, I don't it's... know if I could get beat on that. No, I would not. I have not, and I would not. I don't think I could get past it. Snakes are one of those things that make me. Ugh. Would you ever eat? No, it's have I. Have you ever? And then would you ever eat brains? <laughs> no. No. No, thank you. I I can imagine what that texture would be like, and mm -mm. and I don't yeah. No, let's not I, talk about that. I don't think I don't think I could. No. Next up is chicken feet. No. No. And no, I would uh, no. I wouldn't try it. You probably would try it. I mean, I'd try it, but I don't really see the point. What? Somebody, well, I want to know. That's chicken wings. Here's you know? the thing. I want to know. What is the point of chicken feet? Like, is there any, you're not eating the bone. Right. Well, so, I don't know. I've seen people like crunch, crunch, crunch away. Really? I have no idea. I don't know. Because that's what I'm wondering. Is it like the skin on the foot? Is it cartilage? Is it, what are you actually eating? Yeah, because oh. what I meant when I said it's, it's worse than chicken wings, like there's not a lot of meat on chicken wings. You got to eat a lot of them. Right. Can you imagine chicken feet? Good I don't know. Mess. Somebody can. I want to know. I want to know about all these things. Yeah. Just because we haven't had something doesn't mean they haven't and they can tell us all about it. That's right. Okay. Um, frog legs. No. I have had them. I have had the opportunity to have them so many times. And uh, this is a not a joke, but this is something that we always talk about. I'm always like, who was the first person that saw a frog and thought, hmm, that looks delicious? Yeah. Who's the first person that cracked open a durian and was like, Oh, that stinks, but I'm going to eat it. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. Did you like frog legs? Yeah, it tastes just like chicken. That's what everybody says. It did. Uh, blue cheese. Yes. Yes. I've had it. Not a big fan. but I, I don't I don't love it, but yeah, I've had it. Uh, rabbit. No. Yes. I have had it. Kimchi. I may have when I was a kid because my dad was a hunter and, you know, I, I'm sure I have eaten things that I didn't know what I was eating. Yeah. Um, but not willingly. <laughs> yeah. When I was in the Marine Corps again, um, they had rabbit like it was fried chicken. Just That's how my dad made it. I mean, it looked like chicken. So that's what I'm saying. Could he have tricked me? Maybe. My mom wasn't sure. My mom was not a fan of tricking me. She wanted me to know what I was eating and I could eat it or I didn't. Yeah. You know, but I, well, here's what it was. I could eat it or I could sit there. <laughs> yeah. And then I've also hunted rabbit before. But that was before. Mm-hmm. Uh, kimchi. Heck yes, we've had kimchi. Heck yeah, it's delicious. We love kimchi. Razor clams. I don't know what a razor clam is. Isn't it long? I don't know. There's that like gooey duck kind. Oh, maybe that's what and I'm then, thinking. I don't. I think razor clams might be long too. Um, right? not to my knowledge. If I had them, would I try them? Yes. I don't think I've had them, and I'd probably try them. A century egg. No. 
No, thank you. And I haven't had them. And if you don't know what that is, um, Google it. <laughs> yeah. But well, no, and that's like a, a heck no. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't. No, no, no. That's like survivor stuff right there. Yeah. What about a blood sausage? I haven't. I haven't either. And I, isn't there one in a typical English breakfast or something traditional? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd probably try that. I would try it. I haven't, but I... Yeah. Well, I say that. I want to see one, and then I'll tell you if I'll try it or not. <laughs> um, I haven't. I feel like I would even just a little bite, but yeah. I, don't, I don't know. That's not something I'm repulsed by. I haven't had it, but I'd, I'd give it a shot. Like... Definitely, if we we're gonna do, or if we we're gonna make a traditional English breakfast, we'd we'd have to get it. Yeah, can we get it around here? Do you think? Um, I saw a nice place online we can order from. Okay. Uh, foie gras. No. No, I have not. And no, I would not. No. Wait. It's... Did we try it somewhere? I did not, cause isn't it duck liver? I know I did. I have not, would not. I think I did have it when we were in the Bahamas. Oh, you might have. I think so. Yep. I tried it. And? I didn't like the texture. Where did you try it? Which restaurant? Um, the one where you had the lobster risotto. Oh, you could have had that lobster risotto and you, oh, you probably picked it just cause it was like different. You'd never had it and whatever. That's yeah. right. That lobster risotto still comes to me in my dreams. But it was delicious. And then we went back and I had it again. And then John and his dad had to have it too because I went <laughs> on and on about how good it was. Yeah. yeah, and of course I got to try yours and it was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, scallops, yes. Yes. Um, not my favorite. I don't hate them. I love scallops. Uh, well, here's my thing is if we're having it as part of a dinner then I like them and I'll eat them. But if I go, this is why I never have them. If I go to a seafood restaurant, there's always something more enticing to right, me, right. usually, you know? Yeah. I'm a shrimp girl, I would say, as far yeah. as seafood goes. All right. But sometimes you can get scallops and something else, and then that's when I would have it. Yeah. yeah. Venison? Yes. I don't love it. I don't like it. I would not probably have it again. My dad used to make it all the time. John used to make it all the time. Um, yeah. I don't, first of all, I don't love it. If I loved it, I could probably get over myself, but I don't love it. Yeah. I love it. Well, you can eat it at somebody else's house if you want to. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, <laughs> eels. Have you ever eaten eel? I have. I have as well. We are tied. <laughs> At 20. Hmm, that's funny. What is your score? Let us know in the comments. There's a million different of those lists. I think that's a pretty good list. The only thing I don't really agree with is like spam is not adventurous i don't no. think it's ham in a can right. you know what i mean yeah um sauerkraut is not adventurous i mean there's uh, there's other things that spam and sauerkraut my goodness that's gotta be good we made we've had that before we made a pizza oh that's right and in fact i think we made it for this channel i'll have to see if we can pop that in but anyway those are the only two things that i would say i don't really consider that to be adventurous eating but let us know what the most adventurous thing you have ever had was i feel like i've had a scorpion sucker before and uh i got Did you to eat the scorpion no i took it out i got them for the boys and i you know boys like stuff like that uh well some boys like stuff like that some people like stuff like that but i feel like um well i'll just talk about my kids they wanted to like dare each other like right oh, i'm not gonna chicken out are you gonna eat it i'm gonna eat it you know that that kind of thing is what i mean and uh so we all had one and i you know i ate the sucker part 
<laughs> and then when we got close, I could not do it. I don't, I don't know. There's uh, a million wonderful things that we want to try in the world. Yeah. Not so many on that list, I don't think. I was a very adventurous eater when I was in Japan back in my young days. And uh, most of that, though, was not on purpose. Most of it was like because I didn't know what I was choosing you know i couldn't read the menu or anything yeah and the cool thing about japan is they have like plastic food for you to like point to that i want this or i want mm -hmm. that so i remember choosing um, a bowl of soba and it was it like had like those little i don't know what they are the little creatures that bury themselves in the sand at the beach they were all in there and i mm. was like oh <laughs> yeah but I mean it's interesting different different cultures like different things I know yeah. that we recently I don't know month or so ago did a hamburger helper video yeah and people were what well, was Mac it, the brand was helper mac and cheese and people in the comments were saying stuff about hamburger helper and thinking oh ever since I heard of that I thought it you know I thought it was so gross the hamburgers not in it it's just like mac and cheese and then you add hamburger to it when yeah. you get it home but I just think that sometimes we look at other places other cultures other whatever and think oh that's strange or that's weird right. or whatever I think most of it I would give a try but the things that I struggle with are trying things that are animals. Why do animals have to be so darn cute? And so darn tasty. <laughs> anyway, let us know in the comments. We're so anxious to hear um, your thoughts and your scores down below. Let us know. Let's chat about this. I'm, I'm curious what of the things on the list you've tried and yeah. what you would never try or if you have other things to add to the list. Somebody today in the comments said, what would be the top 10 things you would want to try? Mm -hmm. And so I thought that would be fun, kind of a, a bucket list type video. We've talked before about we'd love to eat our way through Mexico because we love Mexican food. Yeah. So we're going to do a, a little top 10 things that we, you know, food things that we'd love to eat. So anyway, be looking for that video soon. If you are not following us on social media, please come find us. The links to those are in our channel banner, which is the place where all of our pictures are. Yeah. Now, if you love food Who or doesn't? you love adventure, yeah. which we are ready for. We're ready for adventure. That's right. That's right. Or us to the video. Give this video a big thumbs up. That's all we have for today. See you tomorrow. That's it, guys. Bye. Bye.